Huh? Oh. No! Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo, and in this video I'm going to talk about all Bomberman games I could find for Java. Bomberman Supreme Bluetooth is great, it has two modes. You can either play the classic Bomberman game that we all got to love, or you can play the Supreme version, which has updated graphics and the option to play with a friend via Bluetooth. And I've counted that the game has around 10 maps, and the game even has boss battles. It's a truly great experience on Java. Nothing feels cut out or missing. It's great. Bomberman Deluxe consists of 30 levels, and yet again you get some nice bosses in between those levels. The game has trophies you can unlock, the usual power-ups of Bomberman, and the game has a versus mode too, where you can compete with 3 others in a Bomberman match. And in this game, if I didn't fail to count again correctly, there are 9 battle stages. It's a great game too, just like the first one. Bomberman Kart is the usual kart game you always get on Java. You drive your kart, get power-ups, throw them, win the race, but even if it's an average to mediocre racer for the Java platform, the lack of content makes it a bad game. You get three tracks. Ooh, you suck. And the controls are far from comfy. Atomic Bomberman 3D is great. It's the classic Bomberman experience but in 3D, so graphically it's amazing. As usually 3D Java games are the most power hungry ones. And gameplay wise it's the classic awesome experience. And it feels great. Since the file is so big they couldn't cramp inside that much content, so in this game you only get 5 different battle arenas. But it's awesome. It's awesome that you also still get boss fights, and the game still takes you around one hour to beat. I recommended this one too. It's... it's awesome. Pok Pok Hot Bomberman is a Bomberman clone, where you play with this kid as a Bomberman. The gameplay is similar to the other Bomberman games, the only difference is that the levels feel more loose, so that you feel sometimes that the game inclines to be an action adventure too. You get different levels, even boss fights, and the gameplay is similar to the other Bomberman games, meaning that you lay bombs and catch enemies in your blast radius. Super Bomberman is the classic game, but the problem is that it's so tiny that you will have a hard time playing the game, especially if you have a very tiny screen. And the game isn't that content rich, so I recommend you the other ones, rather than this one. But it still has bluetooth battles, which is cool. And Bomberman Panic is this Tetris like puzzle game. I don't think I have to explain, as the video is self explanatory on how the game works. It's nice that the game has a challenge mode, where you compete against 12 opponents, and there are multiple different level designs. And you also get a versus mode. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, click the join button and choose one of the perks. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. I've left the links to those in the video description. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and till we read thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.